What's up, Internet? My name's Nerd. And I'm Claro. And this is a finale. We didn't say penultimate in the last video. <gasps> this is a finale. Blue-Eyed Samurai, Season 1, Episode 8. Y'all, this is called The Great Fire of 1657. I'm assuming that's like an actual event. I'm assuming it's going to be sad. Probably. This doesn't seem like a show that's going to be like, everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Yeah, let's watch The Great Fire of 6057. If you want that full-length reaction, go to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly. But if you don't stay here because you're already here. We added a new tier, so go check that out. That was weeks ago by the time this goes up, but yeah, we did. Yeah, true. Yeah, oops. We pre-record sometimes. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I failed or I'm dead. Don't be silly, Master. You can't die. You don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great line. What a shot! Goddamn. This fucking show, man. Of course. Until next year, then. The tension is tension. <laughs> it sure is. This is gorgeous. I know. I hope the cherry blossoms are in bloom when we're there. Mm. One of my girls heard rumors of an attack. Akemi took her to inform her father. I haven't seen either since. Go. Now. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I have such weird feelings about Madame Kaji because she did send so many prostitutes to their deaths. But also, like, what options does she have? It's, like, such a... Yeah. Real world, like, complications in life. Yeah. It's well done. You used to look at me with admiration. <laughs> you used to be admirable. You breathed your first breath because of me. And you breathe now because I allow it. Fuck this guy. Yeah. <laughs> will be mine too. Let's go, Mom! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> oh my god, I thought you she did it. Now. Because I allow it. Fuck, I needed a sword. <laughs> Let's go, Mizu! Ringo? Your ski plan is Ringo? <laughs> hey. He's the best, okay? Ringo somehow dragged her out of a lake. Yeah. Ringo's good at shit. Ringo got skills. <laughs> God damn. Ah. Oh. Didn't you say you wanted to be great? The gods are giving you that chance. Now. No, Ringo. Oh, shit. Akemi's fucked now. Yep. She's got her mom, though. Yeah. But what would he do? He's so stupid, he'd go straight through the front door. Well, <laughs> 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 oh, that fucking worked. What about the archers? Listen, we come with a uh, warning. Listen to me. <laughs> well, that went great. Yeah. Kill me if you want, but let me warn the Shogun first. His life is in danger. Cool. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, they're here! Someone is not doing a good job keeping watch. Yeah, security in this town sucks. So 
Why don't villains always get the best armor? <laughs> you know? I know. Wow. How do you even mount a defense against that? Like... You are a loyal samurai. Give this man a sword. He stays at my side. Smart move. And he stays at mine. No, Ringo has to get back to the fucking... <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. So you married my girl, huh? <laughs> Where is your wife? I don't... No. Oh, God. I know. Fowler is here. Fuck. I thought he was gonna be sneaky about it, but he's like, where's Main Street? What if we walk down Main Street? Mm -hmm. I want big flags. Tygen is searching for you. He's not a good man. He could be a great one. The weird thing is, I think Akemi kind of likes her husband. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, it's kind of... Like, I could see Mizu and Taigen ending up together. And Akemi yeah. getting to be the Shogun wife. Yeah. Oh, there's a bridge over water. Oh, you guys are great. This is why you dig a moat. Don't do that. <laughs> You guys have a wall and you have guns. What are you doing? And honor and bravery and all that shit. No one's breached these walls in 400 years. But you have walls. They haven't breached them because you don't stand in front of them. dramatically got his horse back into the center for when yeah. the smoke cleared. Of course, of course. Abijah Fowler is a theater major. For sure. Yes. Those uh, flags are too high to get through that gate. <laughs> like, if that force had just stood inside the doors on either side, they could have taken on gunners with... At close range. Yeah. <laughs> they are doing a great job of showing the overpowering force of new technology. Yes. Because no one knows how to deal with them. Yeah. Because their strategy is just awful. Like, they have no... Well, they've lived in a place that they no one has reached for 400 years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God damn. This is crazy. Even if they get close, they'll never push through. Good. This fucker. Fucking Hachi Shindo. I love competent bad guys. This is fun. Yeah. Okay, Batman. <laughs> They're still in front of the door. We invented worse first. Not fair. But here we are. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's so bleak. Wow. I'll never upgrade to musketmen in civilization the same way ever again. <laughs> The thing is, if they just pulled everyone inside and created a gauntlet interior, you could have removed the range out of the equation. Mm -hmm. All that vision, you couldn't see how little space a bullet needs. Oh. They need to see it. Your humiliation. That's how they'll know. Well, 
Let's get on with it. What the fuck is season two of this show? Do they fight God? Like, I don't know. Oh, God damn. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's go, Mizu! Kill him. supposed to wait outside. Ringo blocked a bullet! Let's go! <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah, I was like, he's not dead. No. <laughs> what a shot. Upper body strength to hold him up like that too. Yep. Tigan's more than just a jawline. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> the balls of letting someone get behind you. Crazy. Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 Maybe Do you think he knows? Two? I don't know. Do you think season two is their fight in the fall? Maybe. I think they have a hard time fighting now, though. A hard time taking it seriously, at least. It would just end up with them fucking. This doesn't end until you die. It's amazing how every time she's naked, we don't just see nothing but scars. I know. Shogun, we need to talk about your fireproofing in your castle. No, that that paper stuff? That, like, I know, well, this okay, is... that's a lot. <laughs> Mizu! <gasps> <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh my God. Eh, it's what he deserves. I don't know if anyone deserves to be cooked, you know? No, he'll die of asphyxiation first. That's so dark. Why are you so dark? I... I'm not wrong! <laughs> <laughs> Well, that gets rid of one problem. Yep. We must hurry. Wow, yeah, that went up fast. Yeah. I would have put my shoulder in that door with the gold still in my hand. You know what I mean? I'm not putting down that money. <laughs> <laughs> I raised you. Zeki. <laughs> what a shot. What an arc he fucking had, you know? Yeah. From beginning to fuck. Yeah. Oh my 
God, Mizu's gonna be coughing for like a month after this. Yeah. <laughs> the whole city. Y'all. Wait, how? The, they this were city across is the bridge. flammable as fuck. No, they were across a bridge. Like, there was water in the way. Maybe it was a windy day. Then the flames jump. They should have opened their stomachs when they had the chance. You are Shogun now. This is what it means to rule. Is that what it means to rule? No, she's Isn't just a fucking Isn't that the cunt. path that got us here? Yeah. Didn't, wait, didn't th that thinking get us to this point? Yeah, no, she's Wasn't the that the point of the big bad speech? I don't need to be great. I just want to be happy. I want to be great. Casual flaming castle burning in the background. Well, goddamn. Damn, Ringo fucking made it out. Come on, master. Do you think Ringo's standing there being like, oh, I think Akemi might have died because I wasn't at the well? <laughs> My bad. Your bones break like a woman's. It's weird to know that. Little miss. So you're the one? Oh. Oh. Biggest city in the world is burning to the ground as a blood sacrifice to your revenge. That's your white half showing. Maybe you are mine. Did you want to know which one tried to burn you alive as a baby? Which one killed your mother? Oh my god. I thank heaven for her safety. Oh wow. He only needs time for quiet recovery. Under my care. He's going to wish he died in that fire. Oh, no. Oh, nah, I don't feel bad boy. for him. No, no, no. I just, it's just what it means for her. Yeah. I waited. Master didn't come back. Oh, damn. Oh, shit! Girl, just buy a new shirt. <laughs> At some point, it's gonna be more needle and thread than it is fucking fabric. Wow. God damn, what a wild ending. What a show. Yup. Oh, man. Mizu goes to London. Yeah. Oh, it definitely uh, doesn't have the kind of resolution that I thought. Oh, it's definitely a season two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. show's not nearly over. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting. She doesn't even have a sword. No. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, I totally understand why we have fire code now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's it was gone in like three hours. Um, yeah, 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 that's unfortunate. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> that was incredible. What an incredible season of television. Yeah, the animation is so beautiful. It is. The character work is unreal. Like Tygen getting to that point where he's like, I don't need to be great. I just want to be happy. What a line. Yeah. At that moment, you yeah. know, fucking Suki dying like that. Uh, yeah. And then she's like, well, good for you, but I want to be great. 
And also, like, her new husband's not a bad dude. No, I Not as advertised. Not as advertised. Yeah, Yeah, no, I think that she sees the potential in her her future there and is, Mm -hmm. is like, you know what? Fuck this world that's, like, put me in this position to have to do what I have to do. And, uh... I'm just going to make the most of it. Yeah. Yeah, the fight sequences. Like that that the 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 Mizu Fowler fight was just great. Yeah. Everything about it, the All lighting, it. Yeah. the structure of it. Tygen being a part of it at first. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love how um I love how all of the pieces came back together. Mm-hmm. I I even love that like, you know, um the, that their the, the Mizu's teacher yeah came back into play that um oh my god mistress um Kaji Kaji came back like like there were like it really felt like a true finale where like we got we got a little bit of everything which is nice felt very flushed out well and for set up for season two like I love the idea that um you set up like Akemi versus Lady Ito as being the like two sides of this battle for the future of the shogun right the the two female influences over the shogun that are working behind the scenes to kind of push these two young men and the older one obviously being the shogun but the the two brothers and how they're going to rule japan moving forward the lessons learned from their father fucking up by engaging with fowler but also you know the the danger in saying no to those guns like you have two thousand guns now and her saying, destroy them all. And look, I'm not saying that guns are great. I, you know, I'm not exactly the biggest gun person. But in this world where you just saw the devastating power of being overwhelmed by a new technology, to have access to that technology and turn it down is... A choice. Is tough considering you don't know what's coming next, right? Like, yeah. what's the next volley in this fight for the wealth of Japan? Yeah. And... I, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know what the right choice is. I, and I'm not saying that I know what it is, right? I'm just saying that, like, I, I can understand her position of being like, we're just, no, we don't want that shit here. But also, like, uh, the uh, the other side of that conversation is like, yeah, but what if they come back? You know, yeah. what do we do? How do yeah. we? Because they were so wildly unprepared. I know. Like, their strategy for defending their own castle was god-awful. Yeah. They were just, they were like, oh, no, we're good. We've never had to worry about this before. But even even without guns, even without guns, why would you stand in front of your own doors? So they can fight. On multiple occasions. Like, literally, like, so that they can fight. They want to be in the middle of it. There's this idea. Yeah, yeah. And and I guess in a fair fight where you're fighting, where they're charging at you with swords, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, like, like, people have this idea that uh, of of like honor and how you earn that and uh, they expect the other side to have the same ideals that yeah. they do which obviously fowler like doesn't but when when you know you're trying to protect the castle i mean like you know the the idea that someone would like try to like attack the king the emperor like the shogun like whatever like the figurehead is is crazy especially you're like we've held this thing for 400 years like we're super fine the, the the idea that someone even came close is crazy, but yeah. then succeeded is, like, unthinkable. The fact that they were even able to move a standing force of 2,000 people within range of Ido without the Shogun knowing is insane, yeah. right? Like, the, the, the amount of maneuvering that you would have to do to sneak that large a force towards the largest city yeah. is, is, well, is monumental. As soon as it's they a they huge looked task, the, right? The, they were like, Oh, yeah, he's here. Well, but at that point, they were already on Main Street. I know. Like, they were, like, fucking walking, you know, down fucking Times Square. I know. Mayor of New York City's going, wait, 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 wait. How'd they get across the fucking bridge? But, you know, it, it is, it's it, it, it's a monumental idea to sneak that many people across the country into position to even attack. Yeah. And, yeah, the Shogun's people were just so wildly unprepared for it. Yeah. It was sad. Yeah. History... And, like, not that this is, like, a historical fact. I'm, I'm not saying this is a historical no, I mean, show, but, like, fuck, human beings treat each other so poorly. <laughs> yep. Uh, it makes for, like, great narrative, but I just, you know, we watched Dune 2 last night and recently watched the end of The Expanse. And so I just, you know, all of these, like, wars, just watching these, like, three giant war m- m- leadership exchanges happen in two days, I'm, like... 
humans are just so bad to each other. Yep. And it's just, it, that is historical fact. Whether or not the events of this are even close to anything, it doesn't matter, right? Like, the, just the, the way in which we treat each other is just so miserable. Yeah. Whether it's on this scale or even a much smaller scale. Yeah. You know, the way we interact with people every single day. And what's crazy is we make such beautiful art extolling the dangers of being terrible. And people still do it. I, I, I like, know. Like, you think we would learn? <laughs> That's what blows my mind. Like, 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 truly and genuinely, I'm like, how do we still get fucking assholes? Yeah. <laughs> like, when, when, when you can watch a thing and, and understand, like, maybe, like, I guess the lessons that it is trying to teach, and then turn around and do it, the exact opposite. Yeah. Like, be like, I, I, like, I don't understand what that thought process is like i just i i genuinely don't get it i can't relate to it i don't understand it i don't know why people suck so bad yeah i don't either like if you told me right now if you were like there's a lady outside and if you went outside and slapped her i'd give you a hundred thousand dollars i'd be like no Oh, for a hundred grand? No! No! <laughs> Stop it! She's not going to be hurt for long. You know what I mean? Like, that's like, oh I would give her God. half. Oh, my God. What if, what if she had an aneurysm? Because you hit her in the head. Oh, that's a and good... And she yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. died. That's good. But, but you know what I mean? Like, like, if, if... I know how to stage if slap. Someone... I know how to slap someone without hurting them. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, shut your face. You know what I mean, though. Like if, I know, if... but you just gave, like, the lowest stakes, like, violence with a pretty great fun cash prize. The point is, don't be <laughs> shitty to one another. No, no, I, yeah. <laughs> like, I, like, if I could, I, I wish I could give people, like, a fucking, um, you know, like, days without incident thing? Yeah. But, like... Every single human should get a fucking, like, um, how many days can you go without leaving a shitty comment on the internet? How many people could get higher than five? Because I've seen comments online. Mm -hmm. I am on the social medias. I am on the internet. Wait, really? The interwebs. No. I know, it's fucking Did crazy. No. Um, and I'm pretty sure most people couldn't fucking do it. And that's such a simple, small thing. Yeah. yeah. People suck. But Blue-Eyed Samurai is great. Yeah. Fantastic TV show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But how much does Mizu lose? Nothing. She never had anything to begin with. Well, she gained things during the show. Not really. Like, the, the, the tough thing for Mizu is that her experience is all false, right? Like, everything about it is just drywall. She is pretending to be a boy so that she can get around. She is... She has no family. She has no job prospects. She can't get a job because no one would hire her because she... You know what I mean? Like, the, the idea that Mizu... Be, because of the laws around her white half and, like, her existence... It, she she's in a very different position. Like we're in such a privileged position where we have so much choice around how we live our lives, right? But Mizu is in a position of being a legal outcast as well as a social outcast. Yeah, for and sure. the, like the difficult and being a woman on top of that is so difficult. Yeah, right. But I think that like the she the, almost had it with her husband, but yeah, for sure, for sure. But I think that the things that you do, like there are like people say that you like reap like the consequences of your actions, but you also reap benefits like she she saved a Kemi she helped people in this moment like mm -hmm. Kemi is now married to the younger brother like there are like things like I I just yeah I don't know what happens to her because if she goes to London she is still only half white Oh, yeah, no. In this time period, there's something to be super racist towards her. No, oh, I just mean, yeah. I just mean, like, she's trading one terrible situation for another. But she's closer to her goal. That's what I mean. Like, how much, is, who her mom. how much is she going to lose on this goal of mm -hmm. revenge 
when she does have at least somebody back home. Yeah, but how how long can she live with the question of who killed your mom and be okay with herself? How, how many nights is she going to lie in bed wondering who killed her mom? You know what I mean? Who was the woman pretending to be her mom? What is the truth? Now that she's had this conversation with Fowler, I don't know how she stops. I don't know how you find out that all of the already incredibly difficult things you're going through might be lies. And and, and what what do you do with that, right? How do you how does she and like settle down and make swords with Ringo and go to bed every night being like, Who am I? Why am I here? What what did Abel Fowler mean about my mom? Yeah. You know what I mean? And so I, I don't know. I, I think that like, I think the path, it sucks. Oh, for her soul, you know, it's terrible. Right. But I, I do, I, I understand her. And I think that, you know, there's also, there's also loss in not making choices. You know what I mean? There is also loss in settling and I, you know, I, I wouldn't make the same choices she's making, but I would also, I'm, I'm not in that position. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I can't judge her too harshly for that, but it's, uh, I can't wait for season two. Yeah. 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 Hope that comes soon. <laughs> Hope it's not like Arcane where we're like. No. Well, at least, at least the show didn't end on the same kind of cliffhanger that Arcane just kind of ended on. For sure. Like, I feel much more narratively satiated by the ending of this show than I did Arcane. Yeah. Which was always, like, the, the one issue I had with that show was that I felt like it ended on such a, like, middle of a moment. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm so excited for it to come back because, like, the, you know, those first six episodes of Arcane are maybe, like, the best. They're, they're perfect, right? Uh, it, the third arc is a little bit weaker for me. Uh, it's still amazing, but then it just kind of ends in the middle of something that you're like, oh, okay. When is the next season coming out? It's like, who the fuck knows? Yeah. It'll it'll come out when it comes out. Yeah. But it's been two years. Uh, yeah, at least two and a half years. You know what I mean? So it's it's just it's one of those things where I'm like, at least this ended in uh this ended on a like this adventure's over and next season will be a new adventure. Mm-hmm. Because it'll probably be years time skip, at least a year. I think it probably gets. I think it would probably take her seven months to get to London. Yeah, that's something I have no idea. You know what I mean? So. I, I at this time period with like international travel, like it's gonna it, take it depends time. on what path they take. I think the fastest path would probably be to like take a boat to China and then get on a train. I believe they had trains at this point. I might be wrong. Trains? No, I don't think so. Yeah, In I believe. 16- yeah. Fuck. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I believe so. I might be wrong about that. All right. I I don't know. They they probably don't. I'm probably very off on that. But so I I I, I think that you're it... gonna have to still take a boat again. It doesn't matter. No, once you're once you're in China, you don't. Have... Well, you'd have to take a boat like across the channel from France into England. But yeah, I was gonna say yeah. like isn't like the UK an island? Or but I don't England an island. I, I don't. I think like sailing all because they would have to sail all the way down around, like, Africa and come back up if they don't because there's no canals yet, right? Yeah, I'm not. I couldn't I'm not fucking tell you. Presuming to be an expert, I want to be very clear. I'm not trying to see her be an expert. I don't know. I'm just musing. Yeah. Before people are like, wow, Nerdy sh- thinks he's so... so. I don't. I-, I know I'm probably wrong. I read your fucking comments. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I just like... There's there's going to be a huge time skip. And so I'm, I'm really curious about that. Mm-hmm. At least Mizo has time to heal on the boat, finally. Oh, God. Yeah, she needs it. Hopefully she has like a physical therapist with her and a doctor. Jesus. Whoever uh, fixed Batman's back uh, after yeah. Bane broke it. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, need, yeah. we need that guy on this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What a show. Thank you so much for Incredible. this journey. Incredible season. I'm so excited for season two Hell in yeah. 2036 when it comes out. Uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below because the algorithm god, she's hungry and we must feed her. This episode, that algorithm goddess is... I, I kind of want to go with Kemi. A Kemi, I think. She, Kemi yeah, she, fucking, like... She ate. She ate. <laughs> yeah. Left no crumbs. <laughs> Yeah. Also left nothing of Ido behind. Uh, if you want to follow us around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polaris. Hey, you, person watching this, do something nerdy tonight. Bye.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye.